Good morning, it's Joe with Joe Lee Farms. Hey, we're here today at Le Seca's Cafeteria in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Can't wait for you to see all the lovely dishes and wonderful food that Leonora here makes. And that interview is coming right up. Good morning. We're here in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. We're visiting with my friend Lenore Le Seca, and uh, we're at her restaurant in Pizzeria, Le Seca's Cafeteria and Restaurant here in Vilcabamba. Lenore, thank you so much for having us today. Gracias a ti. Muchas gracias. We're also back here with Acacia, our translator, and she is going to uh, do our translation today because my Espanol is still un poquito. Uh, <laughs> thank you for coming again today, thank Acacia. You. <laughs> Lenora. Um, I wanted to ask you first, where are you from originally? ¿De dónde eres originalmente? Eh, soy de Perú. Soy de Perú, de Lima, de la capital. In Lima, Peru, the capital of Peru. Fantastic. And how many years have you lived here in Vilcabamba? ¿Cuántos años has vivido en Vilcabamba? Eh, ya vivo 17 años. 17 años. 17 years. 17 years. And Lenora, how long have you owned the restaurant here? ¿Cuántos años has tenido el restaurante? Ya tengo 16 años. 16 años tengo aquí. 16 años. And all 16 years in this location? ¿Y todos los 16 años en este lugar? No, empecé con un local más pequeño, luego me cambié a uno más grandecito y por fin llegué aquí al centro, que era mi sueño estar en, en pleno centro de Vilcabamba. So she had a little coffee shop and then she went to a bigger place and now she has the big place in the city which she dreamed of. <laughs> and this is a lovely restaurant. She has lots of room inside and she also has tables outside in front uh, facing the park uh, so people can eat and enjoy uh, watching people in the park. It uh, makes for a really nice setting. And Lenora, why did you start a restaurant? ¿Por qué empezaste? O sea, ¿por qué abriste el restaurante? Bueno, me gustaba muchísimo, yo soy amante del café. Y siempre tuve una idea de, de tener una cafetería, ese era mi, mi deseo. Y comencé así, con café, con sándwiches, así empecé todo mi negocio. Porque siempre soñé de tener una cafetería, ¿no? So she is a really big coffee lover, so she always wanted to have like a cafeteria, so she started with coffee and sandwiches, and then she went bigger and bigger. <laughs> Lenore and I are kindred spirits. I love my coffee as well. <laughs> so Lenore, can you tell me, um, when people come to visit your restaurant, what type of food can they expect here? Cuando la gente viene a visitar tu restaurante, ¿qué clases de comidas pueden esperar? Bueno, aparte de, de las pizzas, que son muy especiales, tengo más de 10 sabores de pizzas, O también le puedo preparar algo especial a ellos con los sabores que ellos deseen. Eh, también pueden probar las ricas lasañas que les gustan mucho. Eh, platos también que tengo vegetarianos. Hay gente que le gusta lo vegetariano, entonces también sándwiches o combos también tengo. Combos de hamburguesa, de, de, de wraps de pollo, vegetariano también. Y los postres, ¿no? So she has a little bit of everything, pizzas, lasañas, wraps. She has also combos and burgers and, of course, desserts for the coffee. <laughs> yes, she has wonderful desserts here. I, Lenora knows my favorite is her uh, wrap de pollo, which is the chicken wrap. And I love it because it has all the great vegetables in it. It comes with french fries and a Coke for $5.50. Of course, I don't drink Coca-Cola, so Lenora swapped out for water or whatever I like here. Um, but very accommodating. My favorite, and the pizzas, I can tell you, are the best. We um, we had a, the, during the pandemic, a time here in Vilcabamba, we weren't allowed to drive but one day a week. And so Lenora and her wonderful sons, uh, Jose and, and Santiago, uh, delivered pizza all the way to our house that our workers could eat, and that we could eat, and our workers wouldn't have to risk coming to town and getting in trouble. So we, we very much appreciated that from them. Yes. Lenora, what do you sell the most of here, do you think? 
¿Qué es lo que vendes lo, de lo que vendes más? O sea. eh, lo que más sobresale en mi negocio y soy muy conocida por esto es por las pizzas. Las pizzas les encantan a las personas. Sí. sí. The people love the pizzas. People love the pizza. Give them pizza. We like it. And Lorna, no, no, where, where do you think your customers come from? ¿De dónde vienen tus clientes? Bueno, la mayoría, digamos, fines de semana viene mucha gente local, viene gente de, de este país, vienen de, de Cuenca, de Quito, de casi todo el Ecuador, vienen por aquí. Pero tengo gente local y tengo gente también extranjera, eh, residentes aquí. Y bueno, cuando hay feriados o hay, como digamos, el carnaval, Viene mucha gente de diferentes lugares y también gente de otro, otros países. Aquí visitan mucho este país, Así, la gente de, de right. afuera. So she has a lot of local and regional customers, but also from like all over Ecuador. And foreigners who live here are like the coffee, of course. <laughs> and when it's like carnival or... Mm -hmm. eh, the parties of the city, then there's from all over the place, all the countries. There's a lot of festivals in Vilcabamba, that brings a lot of people here, but um, people hear about the great food that we have here and the wonderful festivals and of course uh, Mandango, everyone comes to uh, visit Mandango, but we all love the coffee here, yeah. Uh, we are on what's called the coffee route here, um, the Cafe de Ruta. Yeah, Ruta right? del Café. Ruta del Café, oh, sorry. Um, so I live actually on the coffee route, and we do grow some coffee on our little finca. Um, but this is the best coffee in the world, I think. Wonderful, wonderful coffee. So can you tell me, um, why would people come here? Why do people come to your restaurant? ¿Por qué la gente debería venir a tu restaurant? Normalmente la gente siempre está agradecida por el trato que les doy, el servicio, la atención. Siempre también me gusta conversar con las personas, con los clientes, y eso les gusta mucho. También les gusta, en realidad les gusta mucho mis productos, porque siempre doy de calidad. Me gusta mucho dar buena calidad. Y bueno, la atención y todo el ambiente, más que nada les gusta mucho el ambiente, es tranquilo, acogedor. ¿no? Y mis productos en realidad son económicos. Siempre trato de tener unos precios cómodos, ¿no? Para el cliente. So the attention, she likes to give it that personal touch, talk with everyone a little bit, but also like her products, who are a really good quality products, and just the personal touch, talk with every customer, give them the experience. <laughs> I agree. I think so too. Um, Lenore, can you tell me... Um, Why Vilcabamba? Why did you come here? ¿Por qué Vilcabamba? Vilcabamba. Oh, me enamoré desde que llegué aquí. Me impresionó la, la gente, las montañas. Eh, el Mandango, por ejemplo, es un cerro muy famoso. Y es muy lindo hacer una caminata por allá. Las montañas, los ríos, el agua y el clima. En realidad el clima es muy bueno, muy bueno aquí. So just from the moment she got here, she fell in love with Vilcabamba <laughs> and she just loves the rivers, the mountains, everything, the air is just everything so much pure. I agree. Those are the same reasons we came here. And I think um, I always love to tell the story about our first visit to Ecuador. We came to Vilcabamba first and um, we stayed at Ixcoluma and we took the Ixcoluma van the next day to uh, Cuenca, to go see Cuenca in that area. And on the Ixcoluma van were a whole bunch of gringos from Cuenca. And they're all telling us, you don't want to move to Vilcabamba, everyone there is crazy. So um, we did go to Cuenca, we looked around, but Vilcabamba felt like home to us, so we must be crazy. We came here and uh, we loved every bit of it. We don't plan on moving anywhere else. This is home for us. Well, Lenora, Thank you so much for having oh, us today. Gracias a ti. Gracias por la invitación. Gracias, gracias. gracias. And Acacia, thank you again for being our translator. Bless you. We appreciate you. <laughs> you. That's all for today, folks.